Hey guys. Guess what time it is? It's time for some more late night Metroid bullshit. This time, it's gonna be Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS. But actually, before that, we're gonna start with Metroid Prime Hunters. First hunt for the DS. It was the prototype demo that came out like a year and a half before the full game. And then we're gonna do the full game after that. But first of all, I'm just bullshitting around and buying time so I can fill out the Facebook description for this. And also whispering really stupidly and awkwardly, partially because it's late night and my roommate is sleeping, but also for the most part because I'm just bullshitting. But anyway, how, how's it going for you? If anyone's even tuning in right now tonight. Hope everyone's having a a good like almost three in the morning going horribly wrong or or uh regular morning or afternoon or whatever it wherever it is whatever time it is where you are anyway i think the facebook description is good now so maybe we can start with the actual bullshit Get the show on the road. <laughs> How are you doing, Mothra? Oh wait, you don't feel so good. I'm very sorry for you. I hope, I hope, I hope you're feeling better. Hopefully I can improve it anyway. Where's my Prime Hunter's first time? And I clicked open on the emulator, and then the emulator closed. Such is life. Whatever. We'll, we'll, uh... Get it going anyway. I'm Batman. Hey, rapes. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I don't ever really expect anyone to, uh, show up in these streams, so when I'm doing it, like, really late night, I know it's an awkward time, but my sleeping patterns haven't really allowed for, uh, like, uh, midday streams or whatever, like I would normally like to do, but, eh, it is what it is. So, okay. Archive, and then there's first hunt. Okay. Insomnia, yeah. God damn it! Hold up. It's <laughs> being a little, little finicky. Oh god damn it! I don't want the video. I want it that big. Here, I'll let the intro play and then I'll adjust the size of the window. <laughs> Have an online appointment with your advisor at 11. Chill for a bit. Nice. Yeah, I appreciate anyone anyone stopping by. All right, let me expand the emulator window here. It's always a little weird with the uh, DS games. With that vertical orientation. I know I can make it horizontal, but the DS is supposed to be vertical, damn it. So this is how it is. All right. 
So yeah, this is First Hunt. This is the prototype demo for Metroid Prime Hunters that came out when the DS first launched, November 21st, 2004. I always, I had so much damn excitement when the DS was coming out that I have that date like just cemented in my long-term memory. I could come out of like a, a coma, come out of amnesia, and I would still remember November 21st, 2004. I'm weird like that. Oh, you posted something in Discord? What did you put in the Discord? Or is that in Reaper's Discord, I guess? Anyway. I thought it was about me. But yeah, this came out uh, about a year and a half before the full game, which came out uh, March 2006. And so this one, first hunt should be really short to get through. Uh, we'll do the proper game after this. But yeah, we got three different single player modes here. Most of them are on a timer, except for survivor mode. I'd say regular and more fall are on a timer. And then survivor, just go however long you want to go. Uh, I'm not going to spend that much time with it, though. So, yeah, we'll probably get through this in, eh, I'd say about... Let's see. Oh, wait, shit. Let me, uh... Actually... Forgot to, I gotta adjust the controls first. Let's see, I usually like... I think it's dual left. That's what I usually use. Basically the, uh, the button controls. Which a lot of people don't like for hunters, but that's what I've been used to for a long time, so... No, he probably doesn't. Justin's asleep right now. And I haven't, I didn't tell him that I was going to be doing this tonight. So, I hope I'm not waking him up or anything. But yeah, he's, he's slept. Okay. So, here we go. And yeah, basically... Uh, if you're regulator, all you gotta do, the doors are gonna are locked every time. And so you clear out the room of enemies. And as you can see, there's a score meter in the corner there. Uh, and it multi you get a like a multiplier little combo that builds up every time you defeat an enemy without missing a shot. Now, I'm not really trying to worry about a high score or whatever, but uh Oh god, my combo. Ugh. But yeah. That's what that is, at least. Obviously, the full game doesn't have, like, a score meter in it. A little ammo. Oh god. Our first Metroid. Deal with that momentarily. We should have to clear these other guys out first. Oh god. And yeah, if aiming is a little weird, it's because I have to play this with a D-pad and buttons. Like what the DS had. Because I don't... I mean, I don't usually use the touch controls even in the, on the DS. But, uh... Especially when it carried you that on my computer. So, yeah. It's like a first-person version of the bonus stage in Galaga. I guess so. I'm, I'm honestly not actually that familiar with Galaga. I played it... Just when I played it a little bit on the NES Classic. Uh, I think he's played it more than me in general, but... Yeah, I haven't actually played that one that much. But I guess, I guess it has... Galaga has a scoring system like that. Oh, I think I accidentally pressed the close DS button. It's a left trigger. Now on here is a good time for a more fall. So 
Zack! What's up, man? Yeah. Yeah, Zack's one of my uh, friends from college. Had for a bit. Thanks for tuning in from Facebook. Appreciate it. We're still trying to get, get used to the Facebook streams, but yeah. Thanks for tuning in, man, for my late night bullshit game stream that I don't expect anyone to show up for. My love! Yeah, I know we, we've had a few streams now through Facebook, but most of them, most of them have been from Justin himself doing the Pokemon Drunk Locks. I think this might be, what, only the third out of, like, seven streams that we've done through Facebook that I've actually been involved in, so... We have it set up a little bit weird because of how, uh, Restream works, but anyway... Yes, you always show up for me. I love you, bae. Okay, that's that one. Alright. And we are right towards the end of regular mode. Already. I'm sure what the, uh... Okay. Oh, there's still one more. Okay, got it. i trying to remember, what was the... Wasn't that? I remember what the what the the button was to make a to do the morph ball boost. Let's see, give me a second to figure that out here. Okay, cause oh wait 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 wait. Okay, give me a second. Actually, I think I know what it is. You know. Fiddle with the controls here for a second. Yes, I think I have. Feels like the R button is actually triggering the B button or something. Doesn't look like it, but. I guess because R is fire on this one. <laughs> oh, Spider, you got you got a concussion? Shit. Sorry, Justin's not here to <laughs> talk to you about that, but hopefully hopefully uh everything's fine. And is he sleeping right now? He's if you have a concussion, he's just knocked the fuck out right now. I'm not responsible. I swear to god, I'm not responsible. I didn't do shit. <laughs> I passively let him knock himself out. Where do I get my fill of mosh? <sighs> I have it, man. It's a it's a shame. It's been, it's been building up. I actually haven't been to a show in a long time, even like before COVID. It's been a while. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to resume the game. Uh, oh, there it is. How'd I do that? <laughs> that was the boost. That's what I was trying to figure out. Okay, wait, wait. I think I got it. I think it's... Okay, it's just a double tap. Double tap. Okay. Anyway. Eh. Sorry, I'm still fiddling with this. Okay, we got the missiles, and then here's the final part of regular mode, where you fight not Dark Samus, just Green Samus, just Irish. And yeah, I could have used the missiles earlier, of course, but I like to save them for this part. And if you get the two missile packs, you can charge, but... Yeah. Power suit performance analysis complete. There's this whole thing, especially like a like a 
VR simulation trading thing for Samus, I guess. Ran full force into a tree a while ago and haven't been able to walk very good. <laughs> Why did you run full force into a tree? Shit. <laughs> Reaper gets his fill of moshing from work because uh yeah because Reaper Reaper works Uber, right? Sorry, I'm trying to see. I can't see the full chat from here. Welcome to your store. No, yeah, store is it not Uber anymore? Yeah, I've heard retail can be a bitch. Okay. Kroger store. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in, Zach. Of course, we're gonna keep going. Here's more fall mode. I'm fucking up horribly at it. But that's okay. Yeah, the boost is just a double tap. Yeah, you're supposed to, like, hit these symbols in order. And then make it to the end in time. Uh, obviously, this ain't gonna be a perfect score. But I should be able to make it to the end, at least. Yeah, Morpho Mode is, like, super quick. Oof. I did not mean to do that, Moose. Yay! And I have gotten perfect score on this before when I used to play this more in the past. But... I'm just kind of fucking with it right now. Plus, playing through an emulator feels a little different, so... Yeah. Okay. Maybe we can do Survivor. Because I'm a survivor, and I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to work harder. Destiny Child, we're singing about this game, damn it. So I thought it was a... F <laughs> So you're like, okay, I don't want to run into a tree. But I will totally run into headlong into a wall of glass. It's like pillows, you know? Alright, so yeah, this one basically, survivor mode, you basically just run until... You keep going until you die, basically, as you'd expect. Uh... And you can just kind of explore around this little arena. Try to kill enemies, try to build up a combo. Which I'm still fucking up. And then... You, uh... Just go until you die. Get the ammo here... See, I want to head to the other side, I think. I also let me get my cursor over the more fall button. So I have it up there ready. So yeah, I remember there was actually there was a point. A long time ago, when First Hunt was actually the only Metroid game that I had. But it wasn't my first Metroid game, because I had actually sold off uh, Zero Mission and Fusion. Even though I love those games, but I don't know, I was being a dumb kid. 
you know, selling off a game I love. Probably to get some other game or whatever, you know. Uh, and so there was a point when I was really hungry. When, like, Hunters was coming out, I was really hungry for, like, Metroid stuff and, like, Metroid plot and lore and all that. But uh, I, I didn't have any proper Metroid games to play. And I couldn't get uh, the actual, like, Prime trilogy either. Or at least it would have been just, like, Prime 1 and 2 at the time. But I couldn't get those because they were rated T. And as I've said before on my channel, I wasn't allowed to play T-rated games growing up. So... Uh, this is basically what I was stuck with. Which is the first hunt demo that came with my DS. And so I remember playing this over and over again and trying to pour over every little detail. Trying to, like, figure out the, uh, see, like, what, who, what could they possibly be hinting at with the lore in the fucking prototype demo. Like, that's how, like, desperate for that stuff that I was at the time. Which is, it's silly thinking about it now, but, yeah. Yeah, I always like to bounce up here from my little sniper lookout. A little perch up here. Oof. Excuse me. Yeah, I know if I, if I wait around enough, there should be a double damage thing coming up in a bit. Oof. There it is. All right, yeah, so the missiles usually kill them in two hits. But with double damage, I can kill them with just one shot. Or I can get eaten by a Metroid. That works too. Now that is good use of a double damage. Oof. All right, then if I head out this side. A little sniper perch out here. Of course, difficult to aim we get with the D-pad up here, but whatever. Here. Get some of these Metroids. Oh god. <laughs> Trying to maneuver the cursor with the uh, joystick here, the right stick for the touch screen. It's very touchy. And these things are a pain in the ass. So they just reappear and disappear. Okay, and now I'm pretty much 
stuck with this. Oh, I died. Okay, whatever. Figured it was gonna happen soon anyway. So yeah. Okay, and because we got high scores, I guess, or we showed up all on the scoreboard for all three modes, we get the little special unlockable bonus movie thing. So here it is. All right, just looking around to Samus, looking all cool and stuff. Oh my God, it's a space park. And something made it go boom. What the fuck is this? Who are they? Yeah, I remember those little uh, videos used to look really impressive on the DS back in the day, back in like 2004. Coming off like the GBA. See the DS, even though that was, I mean, it's obviously pre rendered. It's like an FMV thing. It's like, whoa, look at the graphics the DS can do. And of course, the uh, the full game was had a lot of that stuff too. And then, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for first hunt, at least. Uh, there was a multiplayer mode, but we obviously are probably going to be playing it right now. Uh, I will fuck with the multiplayer a bit for Metroid Prime Hunters once I'm done with the single player campaign, I'm thinking. Because uh, I can at least fight bots in that one. In this one, you can't do bots. Uh, about the most I could do was go like, Hey, look. Look at the three levels. We got the trooper module and the... Assault Cradle, which is the level that was just on. And then... Ancient Vestige. Which, that one basically made it in pretty much unchanged into the final game. But it was called Combat Hall. There might have been like a couple tiny adjustments with it, but basically the same thing. Uh, and then... Yeah, this one isn't really in the final game, except maybe if it is, it's like heavily modified. And then there's one that's kind of like this one too, but different. Anyway, that's about all I can do with that. Yeah, I think I only ever actually got to do multiplayer and first hunt like one time in my life and I was uh, right after I came back from a doctor's appointment like a like an eye doctor so my pupils were still dilated my vision was still really blurry but I was playing first hunt with uh, one of my friends who lived like around the corner around the block and so uh, we were playing and uh, but I couldn't tell what the fuck was going on it was all just a blurry mess. And then I never really got to do much with the multiplayer in the full game either. Like with, as far as like playing with actual people. Uh, like even with the online mode, uh, I didn't get to do much. Like by the time, by the time I actually was able to play it online, people had already been like hacking and using all these glitches and exploits and stuff. So it wasn't even really that fun anymore, you know, for someone just trying to play fair. You know, someone just trying it out. But apparently when it, when Metro Prime Hunters first came out, the online play on it was great for a while, but not by the time I got there. Anyway, I think that's about enough for first hunt, so give me a minute and I will switch over to actual Metro Prime Hunters. Let me just get that set up here. And I'm thinking we can at least, like, get Hunters started. We're not going to play through the whole thing tonight, of course. Um, but, I mean, it's not a terribly long game. I think I can probably get through the single player run through the single player mode of Hunters probably in like two or three streams I would guess so 
so yeah it'll be it'll be the single player i go through that and then i'll probably do another stream where i'm just like fucking around with multiplayer like just fighting bots and stuff in the different modes trying different stages and all that but yeah anyway i must hang on i'm just getting the emulator set up again Almost ready. Okay. Here we go. So yeah, remember the, uh, this one was pretty exciting for me when it was first coming out, because uh, as you can see, it introduced a lot of other bounty hunters that Samus has to fight against or like compete with. Uh, it's basically the overall plot, we'll get it in a bit, but the basic setup is that uh, there's a telepathic message coming out of the Olympic cluster from like the edges of the galaxy saying uh, the uh, the secret to ultimate power lies in the Olympic cluster. And so a bunch of bounty hunters get that message, including Samus, uh, or like the Black Federation, and including these other hunters, and they're all convening on the Olympic cluster to get the, uh, to find the ultimate power. And so, yeah. Uh, of course, I was really excited with this one before this game came out to learn more about the other hunters. I was really excited, like, hey, look how they're expanding the Metroid universe with all these new characters and stuff like that. I can't wait to see how we interact with them, see how much we, uh, see what we learn about them, because they all have different backstories and stuff that you can read in, like, the manual and stuff like that. Stuff that I was reading in, like, Nintendo Power and all that. Uh, but, spoiler alert, you don't actually learn jack shit about the hunters story-wise. You don't interact with them much beyond just, like, fighting them. Uh, they start out like boss battles, they turn into kind of nuisances, and then multiplayer mode over here is uh, basically the main reason the other hunters exist. So you can play as them, play as other characters in multiplayer mode, which is cool. That's cool. But I remember when I was playing this, I wanted so badly for it to be so I really wanted to see them do more with like the story, you know, like expand all the other bounty hunters as characters and stuff. But that never happens. I don't know. Supposedly, Silux will have some kind of role with Metroid Prime Four. So I don't know. We'll see with that. Anyway, let's go ahead and start up adventure mode. C 
secrets ultimate power lies in the other cluster. Stupidity neural thread originating from an uncharted region of a Tetra galaxy known as the Limit Cluster was recently intercepted and translated by Federation empaths. Contract 1. Discover the meaning behind the mysterious telepathic message. 2. If the ultimate power can be secured, ensure Federation control. And 3. If it cannot be secured, ensure that the power remains secret or destroy it. Potential complications. This operation must remain covert. The Tetra Galaxy is outside of Federation controlled space, and the Limit Cluster is a wild and uncharted region. With like four entire areas. Or five. While we have kept our communications classified, we know other entities have intercepted the thread. The lure of ultimate power will be irresistible to many. This position of rival interests is presumed hostile. Yeah, pretty much. They're all fucking hostile. And here's Sammy and her ship. Off to do business in Rainbow Land or whatever. All right, so we got a first, first stop is the Celestial Archives. And yeah, I remember a lot of people weren't really big fans of the uh, single player campaign with this game. Like the multiplayer Odyssey was the main draw for Metroid Prime Hunters. But uh, I don't know, I always thought the single player for what it was, I always thought it was pretty decent. I mean, not on the same level of, like, the full Metroid Prime games, but for a handheld game at the time, still pretty fucking impressive. Yeah, okay, so remember the first stuff you gotta do is all, it's all like, scan visor shit, right? Yeah. So I gotta do this right here, hold that down, and then I can scan stuff. Now, I'm not gonna try to scan too much. I'm not trying to go over 100%. But yeah, it's written that the Olympic power shall materialize when the frequencies, when six frequencies shimmer in the divine spectral sequence. Yeah, the scans in this game aren't really as developed as they are in the full Metroid Prime. They're pretty, like, short and simple, a lot of them. Oh, look, here's a gunship. I can scan that too. Why not? Honor class gunship, register to Samus Aran. Return the ship to save your progress and recover your energy. Yup. But anyway, I think that's about. Well, sure, I can do this one, I guess. Special Archives. The space station in orbit directly above Alinos is a primary repository of the combined eh, knowledge of Olympic, of Olympic scholars. Olympic scholars, fuck it. Group the Olympic system. Scientists and historians. All right. Anyway, that's enough scanning. Let's just move on. And there's a lot of scanning news in this one too, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Like you can peek out and learn about. I think there was one here. There's. I think there might be. There was something where you could, like... Maybe it's not this room. Actually, I think I do have to use a scan visor up here anyway, actually. I have to scan that. But of course, it puts me back on the combat visor anyway. For some reason. Oops. <laughs> Wrong button. Those are the, the psycho bits. But you have to fight a bunch of those in different variations in this game. They can get pretty fucking pesky, but set for now. 
seeing a lot more of them soon. Yes, I know how to use a charge beam. Here, my mouse. Oh, no, I'll keep it on the scan visor for now. Okay, let's scan this guy. This is basically those uh, little like skinny Metroids from the uh, from first hunt. This is basically what they turned into in the full game. A petrosil, harmless from a distance. This airborne creature secretes a corrosive town. Corrosive town. Why did I say that? Toxin that can burn through all with the toughest materials on contact. But they're actually. Uh, pretty damn weak. I did not mean to activate that again. Okay. Yeah, it's just these little jellyfish things. Now I have my missiles. Which I need to unlock in this door. Just move along this way. Hey, look, more psycho bits. Let's see, I guess I'll try getting a scan of them. Yeah. Yay. Levitating spherical sentry droid equipped with a 360 degree sensors and a low level teleportation device. His basic silver model fires an energy blast, whereas the advanced green model. Fires a heavy duty gun powered by a nanoscale nuclear reactor. Except like the battle hammer weapon, which we will see eventually. God damn it. Which I think. Uh, it's, it's tricky to activate and deactivate with scan visor in the nick of time. When I'm playing on an emulator. Anyway. Go to tra transmission. Warning! Confirmed arrival of unidentified vessel at Celestial Archives. Oh boy. Stream caution advised. So yeah, that's our first bounty hunter. Who we're gonna see him in a bit. But first of all, you gotta fight more fucking psycho bits. Speaking of bit. So here we go. Let me make sure that's okay. Hey, what's this big diamond doohickey? Cartograph artifacts. <laughs> Autograph. Artifact. Is encoded with the special coordinates of the hidden chambers. And then, yeah. Basically, you have to get... There's like three artifacts you have to get in each level. Or I guess, okay, technically it's six per level. But three for like each visit of a level, basically, because you visit every area twice. But there's something else to do to, like... Or I think maybe if I, if I, like, go through the door first. Or something like that. There's something I have to do to, like... I had to scan something or something like that to trigger this room. Here it is. Okay. Basically, I just have to fight a bunch of these guys. Trying to keep moving. Don't get hit. But yeah, I just they just spam them out here in this room.
Okay. There we go. If I, if I get that, that's basically the artifact key. Which unlocks the shield and lets me get the doohickey. Oh, there it is. Went right past it. Boop, 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 boop. See, there might be some goodies in here. I don't know if there are, but... I didn't mean that. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, nothing in there. Oh, look, we're friends. Oh wait, Morpho Mode? That's a thing? OMG. First energy tank. Yeah. I gotta fight. You fuck off. You fuck off, sir. Let me scan you. <laughs> Lesser Ithrak. Subternal creature clings to the ceiling and is exceptionally fierce when disturbed. Apparently. Apparently. I mean, if it was a little nicer, I wouldn't have had to had to kill it like that. Yeah, I think it was uh, this one. Or one of these rooms you can like peer out the window and then like scan the... There's a scan for the Tetra Galaxy. But I don't see it here, so eh. There's another room like this, so... Eventually. That one. Oof. Open the door! Open the goddamn door! Shit! Open it! Okay, I can't open that one yet. That's a battle hammer door. A weapon that I'll get later. How you been, sir? Hey, Micah, what's up? I've been good. Just kind of chilling here. And I slept like all day yesterday, so... I was like, hey, why not stream some Metro Prime Hunters late at night when probably almost no one's going to show up? But hey, some people are here. Couldn't you... Thanks for showing up, man. Yeah, this is Metroid Prime Hunters for the DS. Came out like 2006. And I've always been a big Metroid fan, so... They're trying to play more of the Metroid games for the YouTube channel. Which, that would be the place to check out if uh, you care to see any of any uh, more of our stuff. It's me and my, my roommate, Justin. We like to stream stuff every now and then. We have a channel called We Flash People. 
on YouTube. Because we started out with Flash games. So, yeah. <laughs> Okay, Ghost Rider said, pilot of Doc's ship identified as Bounty Hunter Candem. That's the green dude. Your warp signature was traced. Assume hostile intent. Oh boy. Surely we're not gonna have to fight him in a bit. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's just we flash people on YouTube and. We, we do a lot of, like, a lot of recorded stuff on there. We do live streams. We actually just recently started streaming to Facebook. Normally, we just do it through, like, YouTube and Twitch, and, and then Mixer, but then Mixer is pretty much dead at this point, so... There you go. Oh my god, it's Candon. It's actually a little earlier than I was expecting, but yeah. I'm gonna try to get, let me get the scan on him. I can. Where is this asshole? Okay, there he is. Destructive electromagnetic field appears to surround the Hunter Candon. Analysis suggests... Eh, let me get the damn stick to move... Okay, there it is. Voltage potential comparable to that found in lightning storms. Candon carries a volt driver weapon, which is capable of a charge blast I can disrupt the combat visor. Kind of like that. And then that's his alt form. His sting larva. Because all the hunters have their own alt form they can go into. Kind of like the morph ball. <laughs> How many power beams to the head can this guy take? I know there's also separate scans for the, uh... For the alt forms, but, uh... I don't feel like doing that right now. But yeah, basically he's a little insect creature like that. And he can... Drop his tail, and then the tail will like home in on you and explode. That's what that is, basically. But anyway, we're not worrying about 100% scans, so. Yeah, just gonna keep going. Okay, I got a little artifact there. So that was like two of three for this level. And there's that, of course. Let's see, was there anything in here? Out of that one. Okay. Alright, now it's one of these doors. I think it's this one. Some turrets over there. All right. Looks all clear. Oh, here's the ship portal. Go back and save at the ship. Might as well.
It's a quick save and exit there. Yeah, once we get the Volt Driver cannon's weapon, then we can get through that wall, but for right now, we're just gonna keep climbing. And I fucked that up. Yay, platforming! Here it is. Ooh, something's lacked. He lacked the door. Oh, okay. Projectile sensitive. Okay. Okay, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Easy. Okay, so those were the three artifacts I need to open up the, uh, to access the inaccessible. It's this thing called, like, the, uh, Stronghold Portal, this one right here. So it should be coming up on the first boss fight, if you don't count cannon. Now, I'll be honest, the uh, boss fights are actually kind of a weak point of a single player mode in this game. Uh, I mean, the boss itself is okay. Nothing like particularly amazing. Like here, let's get the scan, first of all. This is Crudifid V1. Utilizing the most sophisticated Olympic cybernetics, this massive cylindrical defense mechanism features precision chemical lasers. Accredifid is a key component of Olympic military defense technology designed to safeguard the Olympics' most sacred objects. So, basically, you just gotta shoot these blue parts, and then if it's a red eye, then it fires a laser. And so the ones at the top there are just gonna fire lasers for now. And I just gotta blow up the blue ones, and then the weak spot, the weak spot Push her up. Of course, it's better to use missiles on that, but... Yeah. Anyway, uh... What makes the boss fights a weak point in this game... Is that it basically... The game basically repeats the boss fights. So, I have to fight... This isn't the first... The only time I'm gonna have to fight Credifin. I have to fight him three more times after this in different forms. And then there's another one, another stronghold boss called, uh, called Slinch. There's like a big floating eyeball thing. And I had to fight that one four times as well. There's, there's, they vary it up. Like there's different, uh, different weapons that they use and different little variations, but like, it's basically more or less the same kind of fight. Which is kind of a bummer. I wish I kind of had. I wish it was eight different fights, you know? Would have been more fun that way. Oof. Is there still another one? There's another one circling around somewhere. Oops. Wrong button. Sorry, like, the, the jump is mapped to the left shoulder. And then the, uh, close DS button is mapped to the, uh, the right, tr the left trigger. So... 
They might get that mixed up from time to time. Music's sounding kind of funny. I mean, that's a little weird. I don't know what that's about. Okay, he's almost dead. Does the audio sounded weird to you all as well? Seems kind of weird, like in the, the right ears. A little bit like glitchy sounding. I mean, granted, y'all might not know what it, exactly what it's supposed to sound like anyway, but. Anyway. I guess as long as everything's playing fine, I don't think it's a big deal. I think those health orbs. Come on, there's one more. One more of those little eyes. Oof. There it is. Got him. Okay. Yeah, usually I like to switch to the missiles when I'm attacking the weak spot, but like a little harder to do that on a, on the fly in the emulator. So as opposed to like just having the touch screen right there and just tapping the damn button. It's a little weird. Maybe maybe I'll get more used to it later as we move on. But anyway, here's our first octolith. Let me gather the energy up here. Uh, basically, I need to get eight of the Octolids. That's the MacGuffin of this game. Uh, and if I get the eight Octolids, that's what helps you unlock the ultimate power or whatever, supposedly. Right? So, yeah. This is the first one. Octolids should be the key to the ultimate power alluded to in the telepathic message. And then... Okay, let's just dealy daddy on out of here. Got our Oxlith, let's just peacefully exit, and we're gonna... It's really not... Oh my god, what just happened? Oxlith taken! Security protocol initiated, evacuate immediately, oh my god! It's like, our first escape sequence or something. Which... I'll admit is another flaw. With escape. They, they do the escape sequence thing. Like, okay, it's like, it's an iconic Metroid thing. Yeah. But they do it, like, way too much in this one. And it's very, like, predictable. Have to fight more of those guys, of course. Of course, always. And of course, I can't use the portals on the way back. Those are shut down. Just gotta run through. See, I might want to use a morph ball for some of this. Oof. It's a little bit quicker. Hey. Go through the door! Okay.
Hopefully the doors are gonna be locked again. Oh wait, went the wrong way anyway. Yay! This fucker. Okay, I guess the other way. Or is this part where I have to... Let's see if I'm the door. Okay, there it is. Don't mind me. This mine in my own business. Casually walking back to my ship. The doors aren't going to be locked again, are they? They probably are. Yeah, they're locked. And I think it was this door. Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, there's so many of them. So many pressure cells. Whatever. <laughs> okay, and I think we're coming up on the room where where absolutely nothing happens. I'm certainly not going to get ambushed or anything. No, of course not. Why would that happen? That never happens. In Metro Prime Hunters? Pfft, never. Never, ever. See, so yeah, I got to fight these guardians. I'm trying to switch my missiles here. Already killed two of them. Okay, they're dead. <laughs> Eh. I really got it used to controlling the touchscreen with the right stick. It's so damn touchy. But anyway, just shy of three minutes to spare. Get to the ship. Sure, save the game. Actually, I want to see something. I want to see something with this. Because if I leave the ship... Or if I, if I launch the ship, nothing's going to happen. The planet's not going to blow up or anything like that. Everything's going to be fine, which is part of the bullshit of how this game uses the escape sequences too much. But let me see. I've always wanted to try... Okay, actually... Okay, that's what I was wondering. If it would let me just, like, leave the ship immediately. But I guess it doesn't let you. Because that would have been funny. If you could just... It's this big escape sequence. You get back to your ship... And then you exit and everything's fine. The timer's gone. Everything's fine. <laughs> nothing, nothing bad's about to happen. You're all clear. As long as you arrive at your ship, you're good. But no, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't let you exit your ship immediately. You have to launch. But yeah, I mean, I could, I could easily go right back to Celestial Archives right now if I wanted to. Uh, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> We're going to do... I guess I'll go ahead and do Alinos. Why not? 
Go down to do a little bit more. We have to get like the first two octolets before uh, before I call it a night. All right, so this is Alinos, first like actual main planet. The once beautiful planet of Alinos, home to the Olympic Elders, has fallen into disrepair since the explosion of the planet's core. That that'll do that. That'll that'll fuck a planet up if its whole core blows up. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's not like a normal thing that usually happens. So. Here it is. Pop across there. The uh, cheese fondue fields. And there is our first missile tank. Little like morph ball thingy. I think there's like a scanning thing here. Limit Prophecy 2. Beginning, in the beginning, the darkness will be torn asunder by a flash of yellow lightning. Yeah, because I remember the, uh, the Limit Prophecy scans basically have to do with uh, it's a little like puzzle thing you have to do during the final boss of the game in order to get the good ending. Because he unlocks like the second form of the final boss and then you get the good ending. So I would like to at least see if I can get all of those. Only a limit prophecy scans if I can. But I don't really care to like scan every little thing. I seem to remember another goodie around here. A little more fall maze. Let's see what's this way. Oh, so many paths. So confusing. I guess it's the same way. Yeah, I don't remember the exact path I have to take here. But I will figure it out. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there was like another item somewhere in this maze too, like another expansion of some sort. But I'm not totally sure. And I can hear something chiming in the background there. Which is usually the how you know there's an item in the area. Where was that door? <laughs> I keep getting mixed up here. Here it is. Yeah, that was a pickup I was thinking of. Another energy tank. Our second energy tank. 
That is also good. All right, there's our first artifact. I'm gonna track down a couple more. I don't deal with them right now. Just gotta handle my exterminator enemies. Agent Dale Gribble reporting for duty. Yeah, I can open up a lot of those once I get some more weapons. But for now, I gotta fight another bounty hunter. This one is Spire. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out. There's a way to, like, bounce up there. I think it's... If I fall through here... No, I can't do that yet. I think I have to, like... Circle around to get to him. Okay. Come on. Oh, wait. Thought there was a platform there. Fuck. Well, fuck me. I'm gonna shoot him a bit. And then he's gonna pop out there. Or I have to go over there. Kill the blast cap there. Do bill snaps. I don't know what that means. Or do you mean like... You mean like... Bill Dotrieve from King of the Hill. I don't know if my bill is very good. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm terrible at impressions. <laughs> Blow that generator up. See, you probably want to get my missiles on here. Spire, you dickass. Okay, and I don't... I don't know if I can get that yet. The artifacts. I think I have to just, like, fight them first. Oh, but I can't fight it. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Have to, like, hop up, probably. Or scan something. I 
There it is. Okay, number two. Said number two. <laughs> All right, let's finish this asshole off. Where are you going? Whoa. <laughs> All right, got him. It's our second hunter encounter done. Yeah, give me that. So let's go over that way. Oh god. More enemy generators. Of course, maybe I can use that to my advantage. This motherfucker. Yes, I'd like to see if I can recover some missiles. And I've got a decent amount, I guess, but. Wouldn't hurt to have a little more. Here's some more. Okay, there we go. Full missiles. Okay, I think actually I need to go to this side. Hey, bitch. How's it going? Just doing my yeah, finicky platforming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of fight the uh, second main boss of the game here. What was that sound? Oh, yeah, I gotta do this one first to power it. Okay, sure, let's do the ship portal. Quick heal and save. Stronghold portal number two. <laughs> All right, so we can do our first fight with Slench in this one. It's like two over there. It's like four in the morning over here, so. I was about to finish up anyway, I think. 
shortly after I'm done fighting this boss. Why to put me back to the combat advisor, damn it. I very deliberately put it on the scan visor beforehand. Let's see, another member of the Limit Defensive Arsenal. Slinch is an enormous cybernetic eyeball that was engineered to protect sacred Olympic relics. The Slinch attaches itself to the biodefense chamber with three synapses which transfer power to energy blasters. Its primary weapons are the green venom torpedo and the deuterium laser. So, all the shit that is firing at me here. Basically, I can shoot the green blobs to recover if I want. There's all recovery items, uh, but I have to shoot out the little like tentacle things. And then, yeah, once those are dead, it comes out from the wall and then I Blast them in the eye. That's pretty much how the boss works. Pretty simple. Uh, the later versions of the boss get more complicated, but... And of course, if you're not fast enough, the tentacles will grow back. I think there's another scan too for when he's like, once he's out of the wall, but eh, I don't really care to do that. Never just fight the fucker. Ah, damn it. Get missing shots. That didn't do jack shit. <laughs> Got him. Boom. Oxalith number two <laughs> is like dookie. Let's go ahead and pick up the health here first. Then get the Oxalith. And then you will never guess what happens next. The cannon holds the power. That's my telepathic message voice. Alright. Time to... just politely leave and... get back to my ship and... you know... go grab a piece of cake or something. Oh my god! Evacuate immediately! Again? Color me shocked. Oh, 
la UE. Fuck all y'all. I'm blowing this popsicle sick. So my friend, uh, Jean from high school used to say whenever he's like, yeah, let's do this. He's like, yeah, let's blow this popsicle stick. <laughs> he also like blowing popsicle sticks for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Oh my God, it's Weevil. He's a, uh, another bounty hunter. Here, let me get my missiles on. I think he just fled. Let's see, was it out this way or was this the way I came? Yeah, here he is. Come on, fucker, come on. Whoa. You know, see, there's a little bit, a little glitchy sometimes. A little weird. But it's working for the most part, so. Not too bad. Anyway, hop across the lily pads. And then yoink. And then yoink. Yes, yoink. Sure, save the game. And then we launch, and then we'll continue next time. And the next area. I believe is Vesper Defense Outposts, should be. Should be the new one. Uh, but I think that's enough for tonight. It is very late. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, for everyone who did. We will continue this next time with the video over here. And, uh, <laughs> and you can watch the video of me doing the VDO or whatever puns. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube if you haven't. We stream YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and uh, but we have a lot of recorded stuff on YouTube. YouTube's kind of our main place. And Justin's got another Pokemon Drunk Lock coming up. That'll be later today, I guess. I think he said what, 5 or 6 p.m. or something? Don't quote me on that. Something like that. He's going to be doing more Pokemon Green of his uh, randomized drunk lock. So you can look forward to that. And he also should be getting his data transfer done for, from his old laptop. So we should hopefully be able to get more of the recorded stuff we were working on out pretty soon. But yeah. More Star Wars streams coming up too, probably. But yeah, that's pretty much what we got coming up but anyway that's enough for tonight so again thanks for tuning in appreciate anyone who tunes in during these late night streams or whenever and see you next time